Hey guys, um, this is going to be an 80s makeup tutorial. Sorry for low camera quality, but this is the best I can do for now. And this was requested by Leslie Sky. So thank you so much for requesting this, and I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it helps you with your 80s look. Now, I know I already posted an 80s uh, dance clothing party look type of thing. Uh, but now I'm going to go ahead and post one that's going to show uh, like a working woman uh, from the 80s. So it's going to be, the clothing's going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm probably going to do a goth 80s too, uh, just thinking about it. Um, yeah, but in general, all the hair was big and the makeup was prominent. So let's get started. Okay, so I had my hair in braids to give it um, volume for the next day. I did this right after I took a shower, and I just made four braids because um, they had a lot of hair volume in the 80s, and this is good to uh, give yourself some hair volume. So, yeah. And my hair is not particularly uh, straight or curly. It's just very... Um, wavy so this is going to give me some more volume and make sure you shake it out and I'm going to tease it too in a bit so okay guys I'm back I have been called into work real quick so um I was outside and the wind blew my hair so it, I think it gave it a little bit more volume so that's good so anyway Let's continue on and I'm going to go ahead and start putting on my foundation. Get your moist sponge that's already moist. Take a foundation of your choice. I'm using this one. It's a little bit light for me but I can work with it. And plus if it's lighter it's going to help bring out all the colors. Okay, so that's finished, and the point of 80s makeup is that it's not that you're hiding your makeup. This isn't going to be a natural look. It's like you see that you actually did the makeup. You're not trying to hide it. Um, if you go back and you look at pictures, it's like they're like proud to wear makeup. So I'm putting my powder all over and setting the foundation. Hair spun. Because this is what I have a lot of. Okay, so I put my powder on already. Now I'm gonna take my eyeshadow pencils that I'm gonna be using. This one I have a contour brush. A blending brush and an eyeshadow brush and a fan brush. So I'm going to use all these brushes. Okay, so first I'm going to take one of my palettes. This is just a um, profusion palette that you could find at uh, Dollar Tree. Like I got this one at Dollar Tree and I think CVS, no, well, also um, Walgreens has has these palettes. Okay, so first you're gonna take a black, black right here, sorry, and put some in your crease. And don't worry if it goes high, that's the point, or that's how it was back then, so. Now, the outfit I'm going to wear is green. Um, I don't know if they typically... Well, you didn't have to match it with your outfit, but I guess right now I'm going to use pink since it's girly. And they always use the bright colors. And just put it all over. It doesn't have to be perfect. Because back then... They weren't all obsessed about precision, precision or naturalness or anything like that. 
Okay, so I'm going to put some more pink in a lighter shade. Did I even get that one? Yeah, <laughs> in a lighter shade. It's because I can't see. Now I'm going to take some more black and put it in the crease again and take it all the way up to up here now I'm gonna take some silver instead of pink And you put it up here in the crease as well. I took a different brush. I didn't take the blending brush. I just took um, the eyeshadow brush. But I'm using it in the crease. Now I'm going to take my contour brush. It's a smaller one. And... I am going to get white, but my white ran out on that palette, so I'm going to use this other palette with six of them, and one of them is white. And this is just LA Colors, so I'm going to take white and put it up on the under the brow bone. And I'm not being very careful with this at all because the 80s was just like, bam, like get it on. And they didn't even care like, like I said, it didn't look like they cared too much about blending, too much about um, precision, naturalness, all that goes out the window with this. And I'm putting on an extra layer of silver. Okay. Now, in order to make this look like something, <laughs> because, yeah, you gotta clean it up, get your fan brush, and get all that extra stuff off. Clean it up with your fan brush. Okay. That's cleaned up. Now, what you're gonna do is take, take your eyeliner, your liquid, take a liquid eyeliner, and right now I'm just using LA Colors, and Go ahead and put uh, a line on the top along your eyelid. And start, well I already started along the top and then you can go ahead and start making a wing. Now this is just my preference, I always make a wing every time I do my eyeliner. Um, but since it's the 80's, I'm going to go ahead and over exaggerate my wing since everything was exaggerated back then. Now time for the other eye. And you will notice that I have on red uh, fingernail polish because that was just kind of like the classic nail color 
And especially if you were like a businesswoman type, you would wear just red or something. Okay, so I'm done with my eyeliner. Well, the top lid. Now I'm going to do the bottom lid. And I already used this up, so I'm going to throw it away. Make sure your pencil is sharpened enough. And go on the bottom lid. Okay, now on to the other eyelid. Or under eye. And... I don't pull my lid down just because I don't see the point. Okay, so those are my eyes with the um, eyeliner on both top and bottom lid. You can make it more dramatic if you want. Um, in the 80s, well, from what I see, the eyebrows are pretty uh, dramatic, and they're not over plucked or anything. They're actually pretty natural. So I'm just gonna take my mascara, and I'm just gonna fluff out those um, eyebrows and distinguish them, and sort of brush them upwards. To kind of get those hairs to go up and the inspiration I'm taking this is like from um, Madonna because when you look at her eyebrows you can see the individual hairs so. yeah so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my blush which is like one of my favorite parts of doing makeup blush I love blush okay. okay so first to get started on the blush we're gonna take a cream stick and this is NYC's uh, cream blushable cream stick and this is in the color I wish I could find the color on this oh, okay plaza pink this is in plaza pink so I'm gonna go ahead and Go ahead and make a line from here to here. When they did their blush, it was very sharp. So, um, go straight down. And it was very sharp and very defined. There was no blending in specifically. There you go. This one's better than this one. But, anyway. So, Go ahead and mix that in with your fingers and continue to make that line. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put on this blush over that. This is Fuchsia Fusion in Elf. Fuchsia Fusion. Fuchsia Fusion in Elf. So I'll take some of that and put it along the line. Go like this with your cheek. Okay, so once that's complete, we're going to go ahead and go over everything with a little bit more um, powder. So I'll take your powder brush and kind of just set the blush in there.
Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. lipstick and this is in the color Gypsy and it's very pink, it's very pigmented and I think it's perfect for the 80s just because of how pink it is. It's very beautiful on the lips and it's like the quality is awesome it just really surprised me on how um, colorful it is okay so now we're gonna go ahead and um, put on some highlight and just take your blush brush and tap off that excess um, blush because you don't want to put blush on the areas that you're gonna highlight So this is just a highlighter, an e.l.f. highlighter. Um, this is in Luminance. And you're going to put some up here right under the eye above the shadow. I mean above the blush. Put some on your forehead, some down your nose. You know, think superstar, think attention getting over the top. That's basically what 80s was. Alright, so now we're going to work on the hair, but I'm just going to rinse off my hands. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and take down my hair. Ugh. I'm going to have to fix these bangs. That's all I know. Okay. Shake out the hair more. Shake it out. The more you shake it out, the better. Okay, so I'm going to start teasing some hair from the front mainly. I got this teasing brush from Sally's. Just comb down back back comb it And throw it to the front and spray it with some hairspray. I'm just using Herbal, Herbal Enhances um, Tossle Me Softly Spray Gel. business look I do want volume but I don't want it to like be so you know super 80s but it is 80s because it's fluffed so now I'm gonna go ahead and get the accessories get some business type pearls I guess and get a watch, get big accessories.
this is how your 80s makeup should look and now I'm gonna go ahead and put on my blazer So yeah, this is my finished look and most of it is um most mainly has to do with the makeup and this is the best blazer I could come up with that fits me. And I wish I could wear my mom's clothing because she had clothing from the 80s but she was tiny, like way too tiny for me. So this is the best I could do for now. And so things to keep in mind when you go 80s, nothing is perfect but everything stands out and everything is out there. Think 80s, everybody was excited about the future, what the future was gonna hold. Um, everything was prominent, nobody was hiding anything. That's how 80s makeup was. All right, so thank you for watching, bye.